Hey, Trip here from the 87th. This video is on bore sighting Mavericks in BMS 4.33, current as of update 1. It's my technique that seems to work uh, very uh, reliably. I'll stick to the uh, subject at hand here, not try it, not uh, get distracted. There's plenty we can talk about uh, with the Maverick weapon system, but I'll just uh, stay on uh, point here and talk about uh, bore sighting. So the first thing I do is I uh, go to the air to ground mode and uh, power on the Mavericks. Actually, repower them on. I already had them cooled down uh, just shortly after the engine start, uh, just to make sure they'd be available in flight when I need them. And I go over to the weapon page and uncage uh, the missile while I'm there. Missile step over to the next missile, uncage it. Go to the left MFD, the TGP. I had uh, warmed up in uh, air to ground mode. All right, so I uh, make the TGP the sensor of interest and TMS up and look for a building like that one there to uh, get an IR point off of. The TGP is going to hand off uh, the missile, but it's going to get an, a fail because uh, the secret head and the Maverick is not looking where the TGP is looking. So I cancel that with fault acknowledgement, go over to the right MFD and find that same uh, target and get a lock on it. I got a solid pointing cross. I hit OSB uh, 20 on the right MFD. While I'm, when that's finished, a missile step over to the uh, other pylon, lock that same target. Got a steady cross. I do the bore sight procedure. I come back to the left MFD, TMS down, and then CZ forward. Notice the double C's on above each weapon station. So as CZ forward, go back out of uh, air to ground, and I'm done. That's all there is to making uh, uh, a bore sighting the TGP with the weapon station pylons. And I've got some targets up here at steer point uh, 10. Let's go up and uh, shoot a couple of these Mavericks, make sure uh, we did the procedure correctly. Now the advantage of uh, doing this procedure to begin with is that further out uh, from your target uh, area, you can lock targets, you can identify them. Uh, you can uh, pass them off to your wingman with uh, using the mark point system and then you can get a declare uh, from AWACS all before you even get in range of uh, the Maverick missile. So that's the benefit of, uh, of the boresight procedure. You also have to boresight these pylons if you're going to do the uh, vis mode. And I'll fire a missile in vis mode to show you what that looks like. Alright, so go back to uh, air to ground mode. There's some uh, targets. The left MFD is a center of interest. I focus in on that missile right there. I get a handoff in progress, but I don't get a fail. So I know I've got a, a good missile uh, lock on that target. I've got a C over weapon station 3. I'm going to missile step over to the other pylon, lock up another missile, get a good uh, IR point. I get a good steady cross. Now up in the HUD, you can see I've got, uh, well, they're kind of superimposed because they're close together, but I have two uh, indicators there that uh, I have uh, a good uh, lock on the target, and uh, they're designating the one and two uh, designates uh, which, uh, when the first missile comes off the rail, that uh, one is the first target that's going to be hit. So we're in range, uh, six miles. We got our declare, and let's arm the uh, system and pickle. Got a good pointing cross on the second uh, Maverick. Let's pick a lip. Alright, I'm going to leave the TGP up. Let's see if we can watch these missiles hit. Now, we're doing 400 knots. The missiles are doing uh, quite a bit slower uh, after their rocket motor burns out. Uh, so it's quite possible that we'll overfly the target. So some people think the missiles are really take a long time to get there. Well, that's because you know we're going so fast. but let me get some speed brakes out here and hopefully we can watch these missiles hit. Where are you missiles? Well, let's watch them on the ground. Hopefully we'll have some hits. Okay, there's a hit. Alrighty. Well, I feel confident that uh, we got some hits on that. Let's go back and uh, fire uh, uh, two of the missiles with the... Alright, I think shooting at me here. 
Let's go back and uh, fire the missile in the viz mode. To get the viz mode uh, over on the right, uh, MFD at OSB2 is uh, pre for pre-designate. That's the mode you have to be in to uh, bore sight. So if I TMS apt, I can switch to the missile uh, to the viz mode, and that makes the HUD the sensor of interest. Now in the viz mode, uh, I don't want the TGP up, so I cycle out of that on the uh, left MFD and I need to uncage uh, a missile on the right side, a right uh, MFD. As a matter of fact, I'm going to missile step over and uncage the second missile. As far as I know, you can only uncage uh, two at a time. We used to do them all at one time, but um, I don't think we can do that anymore. So I'm going to uh, see where I am here. And uh, I got a CZ there. I don't want that CZ, so a TMS, or correction, I just hit OSB. Uh, next to the CZ to get rid of that. And I'll explain what that does in another video, but uh, that's kind of off topic right now. All right, we got some burning targets uh, down there. I'm going to go back to the uh, Maverick page. And the HUD's the sensor of interest, so I'm going to slew the TD box down to that area and TMS forward to ground stabilize, pick out another target, get a steady lock on it with a good pointing, uh, steady pointing cross, and pickle the missile. Uh, go up here and find another target, if I can. Uh, let's see. There's one up here. All right. And now I'm, I don't have a steady pointing cross, so I've got to turn toward the pointing cross to get it steady. I got a good uh, cross there, and I'm done. So I don't have my track IR going, but let's see if we can look down here and, and uh, see a couple of missile hits while people are shooting at us. There we go. Got one hit, got two hits. All right. So that's uh, basically the procedure for uh, bore sighting Mavericks in 433 Update 1. I hope this has uh, been useful for you. Trip out.